What's up everybody? It's been a while since the last time I put up a... Forgive me. Today's episode, it looks like I'm going to attempt to ride a bike. Um, wait a second. I'm going to attempt to ride a drop bar bike for the first time in, I think, over two months. The last time I think I rode a bike that had a drop bar was at Bike Net Across, which was December 10th? December 10th or 11th or something like that. Since then, I always had something to do, or on the days that I could ride, it was shitty weather outside. I don't know. I think this is the first time that this has ever happened. Don't think I've missed January riding outside for distance. Uh, yeah, I haven't ridden. I haven't uh, missed it since 2009. So this is this is strange. But today we're gonna try to get out. Uh, trying to get the uh, trying to get the ADD set up. Still haven't done the bar tape that was that I had actually started. I think before the last race of the season. I'm doing some obnoxious stuff here. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to mimic what I had with the Richie Evo Max bar, which turns out to be the one of the nicest bars I've ever ridden. That was going to be phrasing. I was going to say something about it being thick and it feels good in my hand. Uh, regardless, I'm trying to make that same bar out of the um, salsa cowbell, which gets way narrower. Narrower? Narr is way narrower where you actually put the bar tape. Whereas the Evo Max is very thick where you put the bar tape. So it starts off um, extremely thick. And I actually originally made a mistake in terms of the amount of tape I was putting on, um, but it turned out to be awesome. I liked the way it felt. and. I have all these other bars and I have to use them because I'm not spending any more money on any bars just because I have a ton of bars. Uh, so we're going to try to make this work. As you can see I put an obnoxious amount of tape on here. It's holding down an obnoxious amount of extra padding bar tape and I've even cut other housing, additional housing, to go on here. That's the end right there that actually doesn't go into the shifter. Obviously the shifter and the brake housing is up here. And on this one, I did the same thing where I put kind of a dummy in the front. Lots of padding on the side. And it looks like garbage now, but when you put the bar tape over it, it feels pretty good. And I've tried to even out that section there. We'll see how all that works. Most of this is an experiment. Seriously, this is the best tape. Not a great job. I'm running out of time, I want to get outside. And I think it's just about 12 o'clock and I was supposed to be at the door at 12 o'clock. Eh. A couple little spots on here that uh, I need work on, especially the bar plugs. Those are terrible. And sometimes going around the hoods. And yeah, the last couple times I've done it, I've done it right. And then this time I was kind of all over the place. Um, but whatever. It's done. I'm going to go ride my bike. Trying out something new today. I got the Ultimate 6S Classic made by Ortlieb. Pretty stoked on what I see here so far. Closing, it's not the easiest, but opening is so nice. Magnetic latch at the end. It's the only little catch right there, but. And one of the things that I was finding with uh, a lot of the handlebar bags that I was using, uh, it doesn't matter who it was, the access port was always from the front. Most bags typically are designed to be accessed from the front. Um, and that doesn't help me when I'm riding my bike and trying to get my camera in there, trying to pull my camera out. So I needed something that I could be um, accessed from in the cockpit riding the bike. And I, need, I needed something on the top to keep it down. So I have to have easy access and the ability to keep the camera in the bag. There's been several times where I've actually hit something um, relatively hard and had my camera kind of fly out the bag and I've had to actually catch it in midair just as it was coming out. This thing's massive, but it's gonna carry a lot of stuff and pretty much what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna give this a test, gonna give you some feedback and I'm already liking what I'm seeing so far. Some snacks, random GoPro, hashtag actual wallet, and oh, on the back we're rocking a speed sleeve. All right, let's go.
I don't know if it was obvious from the B-roll, but it was too wet, man. I couldn't do the uh, Ceno kit out today. I had to get back and get Sydney, so I didn't want to get dirty. And I don't want to clean a bike. I mean, I just got this thing out on the road. I don't feel like dealing with that shit right now. So yeah, you can make fun of me. Just a couple quick thoughts on the Ortley bag. Honestly, that was everything I was looking for. It's easy to use while you're on the bike. Everything inside is safe. I will have to put some, uh, I guess, some neoprene padding in the bottom just to give it some uh, padding so when things are bouncing around, they're not gonna, uh, not gonna get damaged because it is a hard shell bottom. Uh, so the structure gives it the ability to carry more, but I have to make it padded on the bottom. The only complaint that I have is when you, I got these magnetic little closures here. Actually, I can't find it here. There it is. The magnetic closures here. The only thing I have a problem with are the flaps. So structurally it works. When you put it back, it doesn't exactly go over. So there's little edges right here. So you get one side on, you can kind of with your other hand let it snap in. Yeah, it kind of kind of jams itself there. Kind of jams itself there. I'm gonna drop my bike. But all you have to do is if you open it up just a little bit. The magnets are strong enough that it pulls it down. And I just have to figure out how I'm going to carry stuff because this flopping around is not too much fun. But all in all, that was a good test. Obviously, I'm going to have a lot more time on this, but uh, initially, that's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. 